Hi, everybody. Welcome to Ethics Honors from Mount San Antonio College, and I'm really excited to have you in this class. Um, I just want to take a couple minutes of your time just to introduce you to myself, to the course, and welcome you guys. So first of all, um, you are now signed up for Honors Ethics at Mount SAC Philosophy 12H, and I'm your professor, Dr. Andrea Dam. And a little introduction to me, um, I'm Department Chair of Philosophy. I have been for five years. I'm on my sixth year right now. I've been teaching at Mount SAC since the 90s. Some of you might have taken my husband's class, David Lane, and he's a great professor. I highly recommend him. He also teaches honors, so something to think about. He teaches philosophy 5H, which is intro, and he also teaches critical thinking and writing, which is 9H. So hopefully you can take this class if you haven't already. Um, we have two kids, and one of them is starting Mount SAC. I'm super excited. Um, my youngest, he's actually 16, and yay, he's really going to be a youngster there. Um, and he's signed up for the honors program. So that's very exciting for us as a family. Okay, so uh, going back to the course. Well, a little more introduction to me. I'm sorry, one more thing. So my ba educational background, some people are like wondering, well, where are you coming from and what's your background? So I have a PhD from UC Santa Barbara and um, I have a bachelor's from UC San Diego. Um, my area is philosophy and comparative world religions for the PhD and then psychology for the bachelor's. So that's my my background. I love the UC system. Some of you are heading there from Mount SAC. You have a great, great chance to get in from Mount SAC. I mean, the numbers are in your favor. As a matter of fact, as an honor student, as a community college student, um, pretty much you are in. So that's the good news. It just depends on which UC you get into. And most honor students get into a lot of them. So congratulations on that. Okay, so for the course, uh, it's an accelerated course. So I'm not sure if you've ever had one before. It's, if you've ever had a summer course, it's a little less intense than that because it's six weeks. This is eight weeks. We are taking 16 weeks. We're putting it into eight, um, but I tried to make it manageable. We have eight weeks together and four of my weeks are non-accelerated, just like regular weeks where we have one topic that week, uh, like three hours of work. And then other weeks are accelerated. Four of them are accelerated where there's two topics. There's about six to seven hours that week. So a little bit more intense. Um, we're really supposed to match what it would be on campus. If this course was taught on campus, it would be 54 hours, and that would be 6.7 hours a week, or I always think of it as like an hour a day, every day of the week, and you would just do super well in this class. Um, that would be like seven hours a week, of course, so that would be definitely what would be needed to succeed. I don't think all the weeks, every week, you're going to be putting in seven hours, as I said, so when we're covering one topic, but that's a good rule of thumb is to know, look, at if I just put in an hour a day, um, I am going to excel, absolutely. So let me walk you through a little bit about the class designs. A lot of students, as, a, as now as a mom of an honor student at Mount SAC, I understand some things you're going through. Like I'm trying to find his books and like the teachers have not put up uh, information about that or they haven't opened up the dashboard. And so there's a lot of tension. I, stuff I didn't realize relate to until I'm like now in your shoes trying to help him. So uh, the books in this class, are all, there's no one book. There's a variety of online readings. It's all free for you. You don't have to buy anything. The course should be up on the, your dashboard. You should be ready to go. Um, I opened up not only the orientation material, but all of week one, and I will open up week two um, towards the end of next weekend. So you can start on that if you wanted to get ahead. So right now there's an orientation material. You read the syllabus, you go through the orientation pages, you take an orientation quiz. You introduce yourself to your classmates and do two to peer peer to peer pose all of that by Thursday. And also, meanwhile, you're also working on lesson one and lesson one is just an introduction material. It's like what is ethics about some different um, terms that we use in ethics, like what is utilitarianism? What is situational ethics? What is virtue ethics? We learn about the concept of a moral circle, which is a really kind of cool one in um, ethics right now, advocated by Peter Singer. Um, he's from Princeton. He's one of our world renowned ethical theorist, and he has this idea of a moral circle that will be explained to you in, in week one. And then in week two, we move to ethical heroes, and then week three, we move into another interesting topic. Um, so we really cover a lot of very fascinating topics. It's not, hopefully from your perspective, a dry ethics course. We look at AI and ethics, that would be cool. I mean, how interesting is that? Um, programming artificial intelligence to have a moral behavior. We look at the origins of ethics and evolutionary theory and how that can help explain the origins of our morality. We look at uh, what's going on inside the brain, that's neural ethics and what's going on in terms of uh, oxytocin and neurotransmitters and how can that help us understand our moral behavior. Um, we look at abortion, which is a cutting edge topic in America today and euthanasia and stem cell research. 
animal welfare, um, environmentalism. Oh my gosh, that's a great one. And uh, religion and atheism and a lot of very cool topics. We look at some ethical theory. We look at Eastern uh, philosophy as well. So hopefully you find a whole variety of fascinating topics that capture your interest and inspire you. So that's kind of the course design. Um, every week we cover a lesson or two lessons, as I said, and each lesson consists of film, a mini lecture, uh, readings, of course, they're all embedded. All the films are embedded. You never have to click out of Canvas. It's all there for you. Uh, there's a post question uh, per lesson, and then there's two peer to peer. So um, in the weeks that we cover one, that's what you do, but the weeks we cover two, you'll have the two lesson posts, but you don't have to do two peer and two peer, just two total, if that makes sense. So a post is I give you a question and then you answer it. I give you another question on a different topic, you answer it, and then you respond to two classmates. Those are the accelerated weeks, but hopefully, and thankfully I should say, not all of them are accelerated. There is a project to do. Um, don't worry about it until week four, and then in week seven it will be due, so you start on at week four. And uh, right now we're just getting used to the course, starting off uh, at a normal pace at the first week, and then second week again normal, and then more accelerated week three. So hopefully I helped take away a little bit of stress. I welcome you to this course. I'm very thrilled to have um, honor students and in my class, teaching an honors class. It's my all-time favorite. And I welcome you, if you have any questions, to reach out to me via email. Help form is a great way because everybody gets to see what your question is and, and my response. Um, and hopefully you enjoy this eight weeks together. Okay, yay. So I welcome everybody, namaste, and I will see you soon online. Asynchronously. <laughs>